recording. All right. Welcome back uh, to the show show, everybody. The show about the show. Yeah, the, dude, it's crazy. The power is out at my house. The power's out at your house? Yeah. You got a uh, got a generator? No. No. Damn. That sucks. Wait, how how are you? How do you got uh, lights on and and whatnot? What are you talking about? You got. It looks like you have power. What makes you say that? Because uh, you got the lights and and whatnot. Like, you gotta have like a generator or something, right? Like an alternative uh, source. Uh... Oh, the lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, um, those are from battery. Oh, it's a battery. Ah, okay. So you got some like battery generator thing. Yeah, I mean, the, I'm just lying. You're just okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You're just lying. I was gonna say like, damn, that's uh, that's that's pretty good. Does it For look like I'm wearing a grill? Does it look like you're wearing a grill? Um, yeah. No, but I I can tell that you have your um, you've got the uh, retainer in. No, but doesn't it look like I'm wearing a grill? No, I I I don't see it. Wait, you gotta show show the teeth. What's the uh? No, but just here. Um... I guess the grill without like the um the panache, you know, without the uh. You you don't got the. The silver. It just it just makes someone look like they have a puffy mouth, you know? It, it, like a lot of the times you can't see when the rapper is half a grill. You just, you just talk with a lisp. Yeah, yeah. And that way, if if I didn't see the uh, bottom teeth and, and you just w approached me like that, I, 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 I could see assuming that you might have a grill on, maybe. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Like I just have a grill. It's like, look at me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see it. I definitely can. All right. Also, the uh, – oh, wait. I, I forgot to check the audio actually on this. Uh, it, it's the show about the show. You know, we can do a, a test on, uh, on, uh, on the spot. Okay, then I'll have you talk. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. I think, yours is peak, well. I think yours is peaking a little bit. Is it? In OBS, it's uh, it's okay. Okay, it's it's okay right now. Earlier, it was going into the red. Oh, it was okay. Damn, damn, that's not good. I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah do do. Like just now, it just did. Shoot. Okay. Um. Let's see. I'll I'll turn both of us down then. You down a smudge, then me down a smudge, and then I'll also turn down my uh. see what about now is that better okay yeah okay that's good okay now we're, we're synced up still too that's that's good all right okay cool yeah we got it i don't know why you turned you down on the obs though no i i, I did both i uh I, I turned me down a little bit then i turned you down a lot more and then i turned myself down on my uh on my uh on my end too But the only thing that you turning yours down on your preamp is the only thing that makes it clip, right? Yeah, that, that's what I did. I, I did that too. Okay. Yeah, J just to be cool. safe, I just I just leveled everything out a little bit. So we should be right. hopefully good. Hopefully good. Nice. I just don't want it to be too quiet. No, I I, I can boost the. I you're not technically supposed to, but I I can always turn it up a little bit. I suppose, um, in a, in Premiere when I when I ex before I export it too, if I if I have to. Yeah, if anything, just compress it. Yeah, that too. That too. So, uh, so uh, have you have you been? Have you been? <laughs> I, I I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good. Thanks. Did uh? That's nice. Did you did you get a new uh? Me keyboard? too. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's really nice. It's really it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get a new keyboard? 
Yeah, no, I, it, it was a dumb joke now that I think about it because I got a new keyboard, so I, I was going to ask you oh. it because then if you had a new keyboard nice. too, then it would just be continuously identical. But Yeah, why did you get a new keyboard? Well, I, I spilled um I spilled uh I spilled beer on on my other keyboard on part of it. And it doesn't work or just Well ha sticky? like first what I did is I is I cleaned it immediately. I got all the beverage off and I turned it upside down and I stuck it by the heater overnight and I was like, Is this gonna work? Let's see. And no, half of the half of the keyboard doesn't work. The other half does. Um yeah. <laughs> So I had to get a new one, but I'm upset because I went to Best Buy because it was like an emergency and we were going to do like this show. And uh, I was on my laptop. I went back to my laptop for like the whole week because I, I was busy with school. But today, yesterday night, I was I was like, I got the show tomorrow and I also want to get I, we're, we're down on an, the episode, too. I'm going to upload it today. And I was like, I just got to I got to get it. I got to get this keyboard. So I went Best Buy and their keyboards are expensive. Like I thought, like I lo was looking online at keyboards, and it was like you know, uh, forty bucks, maybe fifty bucks for a keyboard. And I was like, oh, that's not that bad. That's fine. It's like, and so I went there. Lowest one is a hundred bucks. So I bought this mini keyboard, and now I'm thinking about taking it back. Oh, that's what I thought at first, because I was like, I don't want a mini keyboard. Like, wh what am I gonna do? It's all like you know, it has all the functions. It's just smaller. But I'm starting to realize I like this keyboard is the problem but it's expensive and now i want to take it back but i'm gonna have to order take something on amazon take it just get a small keyboard from amazon dude 100 yeah. bucks that's ridiculous i know or just, there's a goodwill near you they i'm sure they have keyboards they probably do i i, I for must eight dollars I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for the little lights you know that the, the little lights on the keyboard because I, I didn't used to be either it, it, i got the keyboard that i had in the mouse came with my new computer that i got and they all have lights on them and i was like oh that's stupid i don't need this and then i realized i actually like it like it was the weirdest thing i actually like it it's actually like nice mood lighting i i didn't even think about it yeah but now i'm upset because I, I i like it but i i'm i kept the box i think i'm just gonna take it back and get one online because it made me so angry it just last minute i i i needed one and i was like oh here, pull up your pull up your Amazon. Let's see what what we can get for tw less than twenty four dollars. Okay, yeah, yeah. And and some people out there, you know, they might um, they might be. I don't know if they're experts at this. If they uh, gotta pull up Google. Okay, here we go. So yeah, some some of you guys. Uh. Wait, is this actually? I can see sure that. OBS. Okay, that's good. That's good. So let's see. Uh, keyboard. Would well, you like the mini keyboard? I I did like the mini keyboard, but I'd probably just go for a bigger one if I could get it for cheaper. Like, okay, some of these are are quite expensive. I'm I'm seeing, but look, some of these are like you know tw thirty bucks for that. And I don't know if all the light ones. Look at that. That's a light. That's one that has little lights on it too, and it's cheap. And then if I spill something on it, it's like I just chuck it in the trash. That's what I, I like about the. Got a bunch of different colors one. there. Yeah, it is a mini keyboard too. Oh, th <laughs> yeah, and, and this one doesn't. No, it's not the worst. I think this is smaller than the one that I have though. It doesn't even have like the page up, page down function. It doesn't oh have. Gosh. Don't use that. Yeah, it doesn't have next. arrow keys. Next. Oh, no. Yeah, next one. Next. All right. Um, let's see. I just that's just in Amazon just go keyboard. See what happens. This one. It th it's a big a one. one. Yeah. It even has lights too. They're they're probably kind of shitty maybe, but who cares? Like it's like if you spill something on it, then it doesn't matter. With this one, I, you know what it feels like? And I even thought about this when I bought it. After I bought it, I was like, great. Now I'm, like, nervous with this keyboard. Because it's a $100 keyboard that I have in front of me. It makes me nervous. Because I, like, have, like, my tea over here. I have a little bit of tea. And I was thinking, like, I was like, ah, oh. was like, that's, I don't like that. Get rid, of the, get rid of that keyboard. Yeah, and the guy recommended it. He was like, oh, I usually use a Razer. And I was even thinking, I was like, I know Razer products. They're overpriced. They're too, they're overexpensive. And I went to this section, but then even the the ones that weren't razors, I was like, oh, they're all the all a hundred bucks is the lowest you can get at Best Buy. 
I, All right. I don't understand the difference, though. I, I want to understand, like, my other keyboard worked fine. It was a little bit noisy, maybe, but it wasn't that expensive. It just came with the came with the computer. I searched up the price. I think it was, like, 40 bucks. Like, what's the nice thing about this? It's just quieter, and it's – that's it. All right, I think we I think we found something under twenty four dollars. Yeah. Wait, why can't I get to the? There we go. Yeah, it looks nice. I I guess okay. I I will admit I guess it doesn't light up the uh, the keys themselves. Um, I guess it's just like underneath. Cool. But I I don't really care. I I don't I don't really care. I just. And I bet you you know if I you can find plenty more too. That one's twenty one bucks. This one is uh is a different one. The, uh, here's uh, you know these these don't light up, but still like you know. This one, the, all there's a ton that are cheap. Even this one would be better. Just going with something like, that's a typewriter. Any, anyways, you know. I that just one can't believe. Cool. Yeah, this one's got like a little uh, little rest for your for your wrist. That one, just the whole thing just lights up, and the keys light up on this one. I think, yeah. This is, this is ridiculous, and it's a full size keyboard. I don't understand. Yeah. I I just it made it made me angry because I was like, I I saw these other ones online, and I was just assuming Best Buy would have like a cheap option. Why is this more money? Why is this? Why is this more money? That is pretty cool. It is. It's nice, but it's. It's like, what's the difference between this and what's on my screen right now? What's the difference? Ah, uh, accessibility brand. Anyway, I think this, I think this uh, keyboard bit is ran its course. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that that just get out of here. That's just, let's just end that that bit. I I just, I I don't know. I, but now I'm tempted to keep it just out of convenience. You know, that's the problem. I'm going to have to order one of these and then wait for it to arrive and then take this in one two back. days. It, it says in two days that you can get that first one we were looking at, twenty one ninety nine. Yeah, with, with Prime probably too, yeah. I, Man. Anyways, yeah, it has run its course. But that that's just something that really, like, you know – it it just been all week today too. Like I, I like I, I was driving home today and I and I didn't realize that like I left uh, school a little bit later. If you leave at the wrong time, like I was sitting I, I missed three green lights because the other lane just fills up. It just fills up and you can't go. It just like goes overflowing into the middle of the intersection. And I was just sitting there waiting and I, I just I couldn't believe it. I was like, This town wasn't built to like sustain this level of population. Because there's like there's retired people living here, people are working here. You have it's not like a college town, so you're just sitting and waiting at the light. And I missed three, and I was like, ah, oh, I can't believe this. It's just been everything, just everything, you know. I think when you get angry, I can see your jugular vein popping out of your neck. Yeah, because I'm 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 serious. Look at that! Look yeah. at that, everyone. <laughs> no, that that's how angry I am. I I can't believe this. I really can't believe this. I I just can't. So we should watch uh, um, some clips from you know that guy, uh, the what is a woman guy, uh, crowd Crowder. Oh, I think you're talking about uh Matt Walsh. Oh, Matt Walsh. Yeah. He's the guy who said he said that like trans people should be like arrested. He like got really mad. He had like a heated clip where he just. There's no evidence that he said that. There's a clip. If you find know, it. you know. I'll find it. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna Dude, find it. You can't just you can't just do well, that. Well, you know, it's a clip that exists. I I can't just not say it. Like he 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 did. That's what he said. He's a. a okay, but idiot. we don't know what the context. You know what? I'm, was. I'm gonna find it. I'm I'm finding it. Okay. Let let me just uh. Share the screen here. There's, you know, there's got to be a more optimal way to do this. What, what I'm, start, I'm, I'm just realizing that like, sometimes it doesn't even find the Google. Like it doesn't even find the, uh, find the tab that I opened. Oh, that's what I have to do. Okay. Okay. There we go. There. Okay.
No, it'll probably be on YouTube. Matt Walsh. Yeah, you're talking about this guy, right? The, this dude. Who did yeah. The documentary. Yeah. Um, where? What, 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 would, what would I even type in? It's such a psychotic take. Like it's. I'm just gonna type in uh, trans take. I guess his take on. Event that happened. Let's start off with a short one. But you said I I should find the uh, the clip where he's talking about. Oh, you think you can find it? Maybe I I, I don't know. It, it was on like his uh, Daily Wire show where he gave the take. Um, let's see. Trans um, parade was it? What, what was it? It was like some event that he was commentating on. What was this take? It, it, if I can't find it, I'll, I'll, I'll just give up, but. Uh, I was more saying, like, you can't just, if we're going to talk about somebody, we got to see what they're doing. Um, instead of just saying stuff we don't have evidence for. Okay, let me, uh, one sec, I can. Oh, man, where was this clip? He had it was the most psychotic take in it. They should be arrested. After this, we'll just give up. God damn it. Well, the, if anyone out there knows like uh what the clip's called, um, let us know because, uh, yeah, it, w it was a very psychotic take. He, he basically just heated in the moment said that, um, uh, all these trans activists should be like arrested and anyone who supports them should be arrested. And he got really fascist there for a moment, but we'll, we'll just, so just go back to Matt Chris Walsh Rufo has this report, not, not his necessarily his channel. Just search Matt Walsh and then go to under four minutes in the settings. Okay. We could watch his shorts too and see. What kind of takes he gives there? Yeah, we didn't really like the shorts, remember? Because there wasn't context. Yeah, true. All right, all right. Go to so Matt. Don't do that. Yeah, okay. Walsh. Uh, we'll go under four minutes. A lot of these are probably going to be uh, B shorts. So make sure we get a source, yeah. though, of him. I, I Because, like, you know, there's a lot of other people that react to him, too. Oh, what is this? Yeah. Decimates the alt-right. Um, he is the alt-right, in my opinion. Walsh cancels Thanksgiving. Okay, this is interesting. This easy wheel started as my college project. And we now sell our wheel covers all around the world. Around this time every year, we are treated to multiple articles explaining how we ought to deal with with our racist conservative relatives at Thanksgiving. These articles, in my opinion, miss the point entirely. We shouldn't be dealing with our racist conservative relatives at Thanksgiving because there shouldn't be a Thanksgiving at all. Thanksgiving is a patriarchal ritual in which white men and their subjugated marital slaves commemorate the mass execution of indigenous people by consuming the living flesh of innocent creatures. It is frankly shocking to me in the year 2019, this holiday continues to be celebrated, but I suppose uh, it shouldn't shock you this because is, most this people. This is irrelevant. Think... Yeah, this well, and from... he's trying to make a joke. He's trying to be funny. This is this is his idea of humor. This is his like this is his comedy bit that he's trying to do here. Yeah, and hey, no no offense, but this guy he got this is from three plus years ago, and he has more hair now today than he did then, on the top of his head. So. We know. I want to see him with the full head of hair talking about trans people. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's try to find something better. I'm telling you, we might have to go to the source. We might just have to go to his channel, because all this stuff is like um, defends his controversial tweets on a nurse dance video. I don't even know what that's about. Should we just go to his channel? Maybe. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's one challenges activists who can't define the term woman. 
Okay. Well, this is one of the problems with this left-wing gender ideology is that no one who espouses it can even tell you what these words mean. It's like, what is a woman? Well, can you tell me what a woman is? No, I can't. Because but, it's not for me to say. I, womanhood looks different for everybody. What do, you, what do you define a woman as? An adult human female. And what does a female mean? Uh, well, well, that's how do you, how do you define a someone with, with female reproductive organs. Okay. Someone who's, you know, here's the thing. When you're, when you're female, it goes right down to your bones, your DNA. So that's why if someone dies, okay. we could dig up their bones 100 years from now. We have no idea what they believed in their head, but we can tell what sex they were okay. because it's, in, it's, down in, it's, it's in, ingrained in every fiber of their being. Interesting. So I'm trying to understand. Your definition is that a woman is someone who is female, you said, right? Correct. Is okay. a biological female. So what happens if we have maybe someone who is female, identifies as a woman, right? You know, cisgender woman, right? As you explained, as you just explained, but maybe doesn't have the ability to reproduce. Well, maybe doesn't have those organs that you're talking about well, that are well, reproductive organs. Maybe. I have answered the question. You stood up here and said trans women are women. Yes. Tell me what you mean. What is a woman? Womanhood is something that, just as Ethan explained, I cannot define because I am not but myself. You used the word. Pause. So what did you mean when you said trans women are women? If you don't pause. know what you mean. Pause. Can you hear me? So here's the thing. So I do Wait, not... Oh, sorry. sorry Jesse, yeah. pause yeah. the video. Can you not hear me? No, no. I, I, I think I, I think you... Uh, may, maybe this is too, too loud, I think, a little bit. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Okay, wait. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Okay, so he didn't answer the question. Just letting you know that. No, he he didn't either. I'm I'm assuming before maybe he did, but I I think so. His movie that he made, well maybe. We okay, Let's, hold on. We're just are we just talking about this video? We are just talking about this video, but even even like. So. I I know the point that he's trying to make. I'm I'm sure everyone like who knows Matt Walsh, including yourself, right? Like knows like his take is that he thinks that womanhood is defined by by sex. That's like that's his bottom line take. Okay. Yeah, he just said that. Yeah. And, and I mean he he never I, again, I didn't watch his movie, so I, I don't know if he's ever, like, in his period of time giving these takes, has mentioned what he defines a woman as. Um, if he's going based off biology, I'm assuming he's just saying it's uh, it's someone with uh, female reproductive organs is what he's, he's trying to say. Um, I think there is a huge difference between sex um, and gender as far as, like, what somebody I, I identifies as. Like... So, I, I I don't know. Like I, I think like when when he asks that question, he's purposely trying to like target something that is uh, is already vague. So like the what, the definition of a woman can mean a different thing to uh, many different people. Um. So when he asks that question, he's asking for like he's asking for something targeted that some people don't even uh, that have a very broad um, view. Of what a woman is, so he's trying to like get them to focus in and target on something to like prove them wrong, um, and I don't know. I I, I just think that is a uh, it's going into a argument in bad faith. Because because what? Why is it bad faith? Because I I think like when someone gives him an answer that is too broad, he's saying, oh no no, you're you're not defining what a woman is, uh, but for some people. What a woman is is a uh, very broad uh, number of things. It can mean a, a number of broad things. Uh, same with like masculinity. Like th it means different things to many different people. If someone was like, "Oh, what is a man? What is a man?" and tried to like get somebody to break that down, uh, the answers would be various, far and in between. There would be no targeted one answer. So by asking that question. Um, he knows that no, no one's going to have a solid answer for him, but he asks it anyways because he wants to try and make somebody look dumb when they can't answer the question. Um, so I, th in that point, I think it's bad faith, the argument. But wouldn't they just answer it in some sort of this, – this guy, the first person he asked, he literally said, what is it? And the other guy said, I don't know. Yeah, no, Exactly. And, but you and, said that they would have a bunch of different answers, but it didn't seem like they did have a bunch of different answers. Well, I don't know is is a 
is amongst the various number of answers that somebody could have. What else could what else could it be? Somebody could say that they uh, they consider like um, a female to be like caring, like a, like a um, womanhood to be like a being caring, or, or or mother. They think of motherhood, or they think of um, of just like it in it in terms of sex, or they uh, they they could come up with a number of different things of how they'd outline it. Um, but all those things would also be like relying on what our what our culture defines as masculine and feminine. Um, so I think when you ask about ask a question like that in those terms, trying to get a defined definition, um, you're basically you're asking for he he wants to hear that it's like ah if if they have a vagina and female sex organs then th then they're a woman. He's trying to get down to that answer, um, and he knows that for a lot of people they're not going to give him that answer, and so they're going to say I don't know because it depends. Um, it depends on the person, and for many people, that that answer is much broader than this narrow I mean, their, definition. Their, their their answer usually is a woman is somebody who says that they're a woman. Yeah, I, I've I've heard that as well. I've heard that take. Yeah. Okay, I mean, I don't know why we're asking the question to begin with. Um. I mean, why is that important to ask what it is? I don't know. I, that That's where I think, like, again, it's it's in bad faith in that he wants to make a reason why uh, trans people aren't, uh, aren't the gender that they want to be. He's trying to create some kind of argument out of this what is a woman question. Um, okay. But, wh but why? Think, what is I he mean, afraid of happening? I mean, it's it's a part of like his, uh, unfortunately, his ideology. It, it's um, I I think his fears rely on things that he uh, often you know speaks on to get other people to feel the same way, um, whether what he believes he, those or but not. But what? But what is what? What is he arguing against? Well, what is the potential downside of allowing somebody to? just anybody to be able to call themselves a woman from his perspective he would say that society at its core would fall apart um they they, they do this too with like same-sex couples when it comes to having children um their argument would be based around uh there are women and there are men and they are supposed to be together and that creates the perfect household because there are feminine features there are masculine features and both of these features work together to raise these kids and they think that there's some breakdown in society when there's same-sex couples having kids, when there's men who uh, are transitioning to being a woman, uh, and vice versa, women transitioning to be men. Uh, they view it as a breakdown of society, which there is no evidence that there is a breakdown in society. Um, there's plenty of things that are contributing to you know problems with our with our current um, with society as it is currently. Um, mental health crises, uh, pl poverty, plenty of things, but they focus on these uh, these specific issues, um, and uh, it's it's kind of a it's definitely a wedge issue of sorts to try and create a problem where there might not be a problem, um, but I don't think all of them even recognize that they're doing it. Sometimes um, he might but generally. You, but your think your that, your answer in short is that they think that the society is going to fall apart if people can start saying that they're a woman? Yeah, well, I... Even I, though if they're not biologically female? I mean, what are they even... What, how would that even be a problem? I, I, I think their claim revolves around, like, all of a sudden, if we don't have defined genders, then uh, we're going we're gonna to lose uh, the, uh, a key structure... And how our society operates, um, and uh, th th it, it's this assumption that somehow it's a bad thing, and somehow, like you know, this has been going on. Uh, people have been transitioning, and recently now have have been coming out more and more uh, for a long time now. And there's no breakdown in society from that happening, but this claim that like somehow it's going to continue to happen, and we're going to hit some breaking point, um, is a lot of. Uh, it's a lot of the times what I hear from some of these alt-right figures. Um, 
I've I've also heard the take of like you know it uh it defies science that um uh all of a sudden like now w- w- what scientifically is a man and what scientifically is a female oh it's gonna get all like uh, messed up um but again there's just there's just no evidence of that it's it's built off of a fear that that doesn't have any concrete evidence behind it um and that's my problem with his uh i mean he went on a whole tour doing this he went on interviews asking what is a woman made a movie what is a woman the guy is just obsessed he can't he can't get over it so i don't know i i think it's in bad faith that's my perspective at least yeah i don't know i don't know what he's trying to do i think it's a pretty i don't know if it's in bad faith um it could be but i would say he, he the way he outframes it it's really hard for him to be wrong That's you know what i think the idea cuz he keeps it so simple yeah yeah Th- that's the unfortunate thing is that he's he's arguing for a very like simple point it doesn't have very yeah. much complexity to it or or nuance um it's it's very straightforward so all he has to do is swing the hammer at the nail and no matter what he's going to hit it because it it just it's a just a simple point, but yeah, yeah. We can continue uh, continue to but. define what a woman is because I do not identify as a woman. Womanhood is something that is an umbrella term. It includes people that who that describes what people who identify as a woman. I- identify as what? As a woman. What is that? was to each their own. Each woman, each man, each person is going to have a different relation with their own gender identity and define it differently. And so trans women are women too. Okay. And you want to... Hold on, hold on. You want to reduce... You you won't even tell me what the word means, though. So that's the problem. You want to reduce women, you want to reduce men down to maybe just their genetics, our genitals, our chromosomes, right? That's what you're saying. What you want to do is... What you want to do is appropriate women. You want to appropriate womanhood... Okay. And turn it into basically a costume that could be worn. We've got when, when so we've. Oh yeah, it's real funny. Beard, it's real funny. It's real funny when you're. Should look yeah. Like. Right. <laughs> so man, you're literally saying this yeah. is what a woman is. Yeah. Well, I, it's I, not, can I? The, the, he sucks so much, Matt Walsh. He just sucks so much. What an asshole! Like God. Like oh, it's really funny, isn't it? Oh, it's really funny. And then the and then his comedy. His, you know what his version of comedy is? His version of comedy is being like, oh, on Thanksgiving, they're trying to cancel Thanksgiving, aren't they? Oh, imagine if they tried to cancel Thanksgiving because of the murder, uh, the murdering of the natives, which did actually happen, indeed. But I, it's a joke. It's funny. It's a, it's a funny joke. She just sucks. Like, oh, dude. that's just name calling. I, I know it is. I know, but still, like, he do the, he do the same thing, you know. It, Hey, you don't have to, uh, just because he would. I mean, man, I mean, I, I just don't know if there's a right answer here. You seem like you don't like him at all. I, I'm just confused. Uh, why are we having this conversation? Um, why are these people going on to this show to talk to him? I don't know why they're doing that. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know. It, yeah. The sad thing is is that this whole entire like video that he's posted here, it doesn't even need to exist. It it really doesn't. Like the it this is it's it's just such a waste, in my opinion, but Okay. Can you click on this Joe Rogan uh disagree over gay marriage clip? Okay, yeah, yeah, it's a bit longer, but let's Washington see. Washington State residents, if you have a utility meter like this on the side of your house, you could get paid. <laughs> the Joe Rogan experience. I think of marriage is, is a certain thing, which is the um, the context for uh, for procreation, for the for the, the building of the, the nuclear family. What about people that get married that don't have kids? Are you opposed to that? What if they get married, they decide, you know what, we don't need kids, I'm going to get fixed. You get your tubes tied. Let's travel the world. Well, what do you mean? Am I opposed to it? I mean, I, I think that uh, that every married couple should be open to life. But what if but they don't want to? D- are you opposed to them being married? If marriage is only for procreation and to bond a family together, what about people that are deeply in love that never want to have children? I, I don't think it's it's not only procreation, but that is one of the fundamental definitional uh, uh, 
aspects of it. Uh, of course, there's more to marriage just than that. And mm-hmm. what about people that are infertile? They fall in love and they realize that they can have babies. And they don't really necessarily yeah. want to adopt. And Is that okay well for them to be married? Because then you're, by definition, marriage falls into a completely different thing. Because then it's a bond of love. It's a union of love. Sure. I mean, that doesn't change the nature of, of marriage, though. It's a, it's a little bit like um, I say that, uh, uh, what's the definition of a woman? Well, a woman is someone who, by her nature, can conceive children in her womb and bear children. And then the response is always, well, what about women who are infertile? Does that, right. does that destroy your definition of woman? And uh, it, it doesn't because, you know, it, it's, still, it's still a woman's nature to bear children. I, not every woman will. And there will be disease and infertility and, and old age and all these things that will preclude that. But it's still, it's still of her nature to do so. Um, and I would say the same thing for marriage. I mean, it's, it, it is natural in a marriage for, for procreation to occur. It's not always going to happen in reality, though. But that's still, that's still one of the natural functions of marriage. And, and uh, married couples who can't conceive. Yeah. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't like the it is natural for uh, it is the nature of argument. I think it's just like leading. I think that it's not. It's intentionally indis- indiscriminate, meaning that it is not describing a specific thing. Yeah, I I find it interesting too that he's he's basing it off of like a uh, what has been a s- sort of situation. I I think like you know. It's he's using something that like, you know, when people have like uh, have sex. Yeah, of course. um, Of course, like sex like is in biology is to have kids, but he's he's making some argument that like somehow every relationship is founded purely on that. Like I, I, I find it interesting that that he he's trying to make this parallel of like, here's a relationship. Um, it's, it's all about sex. Like, I, I don't, I don't understand that, like, uh, that take. Because there's a lot more nuance. There's a lot more to a relationship than just that. Um, so it seems kind of, like, cheap to me to throw that. Okay, keep, oh, hold on. Um, so what, so what about, um, What if we learn later on that it is, for the majority of trans people, it is psychologically distressing to undergo um, this social transformation um, of identity? If we learn that it's traumatic for them, we still just let people just do it because... That's what their choice is. I think so. I mean, that that's still like a, a hypothetical. Oftentimes, letting people go through those transitions actually will save them. I mean, there's there's a lot of people who are uh, identify as trans who ends up they end up killing themselves because they're just so unhappy. Um, I know, but I'm just I I mean, that's the whole thing. I said, what if that that's the definition of he- hypothetical. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I would say because um, the alternative is them oftentimes, you know, killing themselves because they're unhappy because they're like not to see in the some, body I'd like to see some be. evidence of that, of what you're claiming. There, there, there are studies. I, I, I can pull one up here, too, um, if we want to take a break from the video for a little bit. Um, but, uh, like, if you go here, I'll, uh, I'll just quickly. Trans... Suicide rate. No. Suicide rate. All right, I'm going to go to U.S. Trans women in the U.S. Um, let's see. Just making sure that there's actually n- some data in here. So, yeah, publicmedicine.gov. It's a good site. Um, where can I find just a quick piece of data that I can 
Well, it said 40% have attempted suicide. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Yeah, data indicates that um, 82% of transgender individuals have considered killing themselves and 40% have attempted suicide. Um, the problem is the suicide rates, again, are, are extremely high. Um, and, uh, again, it's it's just uh, – it's partially but I mean, but what does this even mean? What does this like? This is fr from people who have actually physically transitioned all the way to somebody who has just made the decision or uh, made had the realization, right? Well, yeah, so, and, and this is talking so about like the youth. Um, but it's not saying if they have or haven't transitioned. And you, what your claim was that actually transitioning brings down the suicide rate, and this is not what this is saying. Yeah, yeah. Well, that that I, I have that is data that I am talking about. This is um, I don't know if they mention. Present study examines the influence of intervenable risk factors, interpersonal and environmental microaggressions, internalized self stigma, adverse childhood experiences, and protective factors. Um, school peer support, both lifetime and attempts in the past six months. Um, I'm trying to see if they. I'm assuming because they're talking about youth, these uh, individuals have not gone through a procedure yet. Um, but I would rather at least be able to see. I mean, one of the hot button issues are, um, youth who are getting hormone treatment. And so some of those may fall into this category, right? Yeah. Cause, uh, they do not say, I wish they would, but they, they do not say who they're, who they're talking about. Um, the data I'm I'm talking about is uh, those who have not undergone um, uh, hormone treatment or um, or have gone through the procedure at all. Um, right. So I'm talking pre-transition, um, but I am not seeing it mentioned in here. I don't want to take too much time reading it since we're doing the doing the show live. Um, let's see. Maybe this one will have. More than 50% of trans and non-binary youth in the U.S. considered suicide this year, survey says. Uh, it's not giving us an answer to the question. Yeah, and I'm, I'm skimming too, so I'm, I'm definitely not going to do it, uh, do the whole thing justice. Um, anyways, okay, but the, the data here. that I... I must, I must message you a, a link, see if this, what do you think of this? Okay, um, here, maybe I can just pull this over to this side. Are you sending it uh, through my Gmail? In the chat. Oh, in the chat, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I I forgot. I I have this in um in a separate window. Uh, let's see if I can access the chat. Uh, okay, here we go. Yep, I see it. Yeah. Um, there we go. Okay. Um, sex reassignment doesn't work. Here's the evidence. First of all, is this, is this a reputable source? Um, Heritage.org. Um, dot org is still pretty good, but let's see. Heritage Foundation. Stay uh, on a fence in 2023 and advance your conservative principles. Um, that is a little key right there. Um, I would not trust this source personally. <laughs> You wouldn't trust it just because it says conservative? No, no, and, and same with the Guardian. I mean, the Guardian is um, is more liberal, uh, but no, th yeah, e th this is like you know the uh, equivalent of even like reading through the Guardian. Um, not that we can't like you know see what they have to say, um, but just uh, yeah, I have heard of the Heritage Foundation. They are not known for um, for you know, they have an agenda, so they they're against you know, trans rights. So th this is going to have a bias to it, but sex reassignment doesn't work. It's possible to reassign someone's sex physically and attempt to do so. As I demonstrate in my book, 
When Harry became Sally, responding to transgender at the moment, medical evidence uh, suggests that sex reassignment does not adequately address the psychological difficulties faced by people who identify as transgender, even when the procedures are successfully technically and cosmetically, and even in cultures of relatively trans feminine, transitioners still face poor out outcomes. Here's, here's now one that is uh, more of a scientific study, and uh, it's okay. kind of countering what the one you just read was. Here, let me pull that up real quick. But it also goes against what you said, um, people being happier after a transition. And suicide deaths amongst non transgender people results from the interaction and incorporated with gender dysphoria study. Um Well no, and I, I didn't say that um I didn't say that suicide rates um I, I didn't say suicide rates went to zero when um the transition is over. Um, I only meant to say that the suicide rates go down because some people are happy with their transition. Um, no, but that's not what this says. So if you go to conclusions and then just below that too. The inclusion clinic since 1992 results out of the trans women median age first visit 10 years and the trans men median age at first visit 20 years median follow up. Yeah, the people don't really know what you're talking about here. Eight years. Okay, okay. No, I'm, I'm just trying to find the data. Um, yeah. Um, of all suicide deaths, 14 people were no longer in treatment. 35 were in treatment in the previous two years. The mean number of suicides in the years 2013, 2017 was higher in the trans population compared with the Dutch population. Okay, but the conclusions say... We observed no increase in suicide death risk over time and even a decrease in suicide death risk in trans women. However, the suicide risk in transgender people is higher than the general population and seems to occur during every stage of transitioning. It is important to have specific attention for suicide risk in the counseling of this population and in providing suicide prevention programs. Significant outcomes. Su suicide death risk in trans people did not increase over time. Suicide death occurred during every stage of transitioning. Suicide death risk is higher in trans people than the general population. Yeah, yeah. No, no, definitely. I, I, I'm curious, though, because um, it doesn't mention, again, uh, the data that I'm talking about is that uh, it's still very high in trans population, even after transitioning. Um, and that's also in part to a lot of, like, cultural stigmas, um, lack of acceptance, um, if someone is passing or not passing, that can also influence someone's like mental state, um, and what that looks like in a society that um, already pushes back against trans acceptance. Um, that can also influence suicide rate. Uh, the ironic thing, I think, is that a lot of like conservatives sometimes what they try to say is like, "Look, they're unhappy. Um, it must just be a mental disorder." Um, but I think they fail to recognize that like some of that unhappiness is stemming from people uh, pushing back against what they identify as. Um, it's like if uh, you know, if uh, me, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a guy and I, I identify as a guy. Luckily, I was born in the right body. But I walk outside and if people just started calling me like a, a woman all of a sudden and wouldn't accept, you know, that I'm, I'm a guy. Uh, after a while of not being accepted in the body that you want to be in, uh, that would take a toll on you. And you'd feel insecure because, you know, there's body standards of what a female and what a male are, are what, it, what it's supposed to be. Um, and there's a lack of acceptance. Um, I, I will say that it doesn't mention if the, the overall percentage of suicide rates and suicidal trans people after the transition and what that looks like after it's gone down. Um, and th that's more so what I'm saying is that the overall percentage um, decreases um, after a, a transition occurs. Not that it completely goes away, but well, this study, all this study says is that only occurs in trans women. That's the first sentence of the conclusion. Do you read that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they only tested women. Yeah. No, that's the only time that they found a decrease. They also ch tested trans men, and they did not see any decrease in suicides. 
Wait, where's the uh, where's the data the first, for the men? The first sentence of the conclusion. It's right at the top of the screen. It was the number. No, yeah, they're talking about trans women though. Where was the part about the trans men though? That's that's what it's saying. We observed no increase in suicide death over time, and even a decrease of suicide death risk in trans women. If you read now, don't even scroll at all. Look up to the top line you can read. Yeah, 3, I, I, 100, 156 trans men. Oh, I that's, see. Okay, that's right the here. People that they were studying. Yeah. And eight trans men by. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see that. Suicide rates in um in men are are higher than uh than women too, which will also influence the uh, the data on that, um in comparison. Yeah, but I'm but, just telling you in this study of. 8,000 people, it didn't fully support what your claim was. No, no. And, and, and I'm, I'm not talking about this, uh, this data. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm talking about a different data set. I'm talking about the set of data. Um, again, it showed after transition a decrease, not a large decrease, but a decrease in percentage of people who were suicidal um, after they finished their transition. Um, so it doesn't completely eliminate the problem. There is still uh, the suicide. I know, but hold on, story. dude. So now you're saying there's this there's this made up data that we can't find that contradicts this data that we're currently looking at. Is that what you're saying? Well, this data says that um, it said it did not increase over time, and it says that suicide deaths occurred during every stage of transitioning, and it says suicide death risk is higher in trans people than in the general population. That doesn't necessarily disprove what the data that I'm I'm talking about. Um, no, the, but the first sentence of the conclusion: we observe no increase uh, and even a decrease in suicide death risk in trans women. Isn't that what they're talking about? There's a decreased death risk after transitioning. Is that now what that means? Um, the suicide death risk in trans people the did not increase. Sentence, the first the first sentence of the conclusion. Yeah, we observed no increase in suicide risk over time and even a decrease in suicide death risk in trans women. Yeah. So, so the yeah, second half decrease. of that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but for, exactly. But for men, but for men it did not. But for men it did not. Yeah. Okay. So uh, again, I I I don't know like what like subset study this is. I I I need to I need to next time prepare my sources. I I, I didn't know that we were going to talk about um, talk about trans issues. Otherwise, I at least would have brought at least some kind of. I would have found the data that I'm I'm talking about. Um, but the the data that I'm talking about, and it was just general population. They didn't focus on men and women. So maybe that's part of it. Um, the women might have been higher in the in the study. It's difficult to say with studies like this. It, the, there could have been more women, and maybe that influenced the data that I'm talking about, and that's why it showed a decrease like the women that were in this study. Um, but all I'm saying is that, again, there's no sign of an increase, and in women, there's a decrease. Um, and naturally, there's going to be people who are happy with their transition. Um, I And again, I, I don't want to focus on, like, um, what do you call that? Um, a personal experience data based on personal experience but i i know people who are like happy with their transition that they made um and so statistically there's going to be people that are happy and there's going to be people who are still struggling after they make that transition um so the problem i don't think lies in the procedure itself some people want to go through with that procedure um i think the problem is you know uh being able to uh, have uh, treatment that includes better um, therapy, um, suicide prevention, um, a focus on mental health, um, and then also a focus on, I mean, people who, again, uh, attack these people online and, uh, and bully them, you know, because uh, that also contributes to higher suicide rates. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean, I agree totally. I'm just saying I think the tendency is and what some of the comments have been is just jumping to conclusions or to bring up information that is not backed up necessarily 
and here's some evidence to where like what you claimed depending on where you look because we saw on the other website that it was co the opposite of what we were reading here but just this that, is much um, more like i i again a dot gov site like this this is like an actual real study i i didn't see any numbers with the um looking at the heritage site they they didn't cite any studies this is a guy's like book um, right but all i'm saying is that like you had that one thing that i i didn't seem to find on the internet and that it's important to um do what we're doing right now so i it, guess we it can, definitely is yeah can go no. back go back to the to the video yeah i, I again I, I i wish that i could um if I had more time, I don't want to like do on a go on a giant Google search tirade in the middle of the show. Um, next time, I I will bring my resources. Uh, like if we plan out segments, I'll I'll definitely uh, I'll plan to bring some some data as well. Maybe I can find it for next episode. Um, that sounds good. Yeah, but uh, no, I I'm 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 only saying that no, e even like this study, like they all like have a very similar trend, which is showing that it's the suicide rates aren't spiking um there's there's many complex uh problems to this issue but the problem isn't the procedure that's occurring uh there there's plenty of issues that um that trans people experience uh going through this you know phase yeah but uh we'll go uh, we'll go back to the video see of children there are other ways to um be parents, like adoption, for example. If they want to. Right. Sure. But if people want to be married and don't want to ever have children, are you opposed to them being married? Well, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't advocate a law that would prevent it. But would I it mean, change the definition of what their marriage is to you because they don't want to have a family? They just want to have a loving bond? I think this would be a, a couple that is rejecting uh, one of the fundamental aspects of marriage. And th they, they should be, they, they should be open to to life i would hope that in the future they would be but but isn't that just a personal choice i mean you can have a very fulfilling life if you just uh, follow your pursuits and your dreams and your your interests and you find someone that shares those interests with you and you share time together that's very fulfilling yeah, it's and a, loving yeah it's a it's a person it's a personal choice and that I'm, I'm not advocating for like a law that says that you, you if you're married you have to have <laughs> you have to have x number of kids um but then why are you opposed to two gay people doing that well, because because uh, again, it's 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 not about choice. It's about what this institution, marriage is an institution, and what is it, and what purpose does it serve? And uh, I, I I do not agree with um, tearing down or, or or changing this definition, especially because the people who have changed the definition haven't come up with a new one. So they. Oh, okay, this is this is another like, it's going back to his. Uh his example of what is a woman. Um, I, I, I hate this form of questioning that he, he goes about it in a way of saying, okay, um, if you can't give me a proper definition of what this is, then you're wrong and I'm right. And the crazy thing is that marriage is also something that means different things to different people. Everyone has different marriages. It, it's insane to me that to him, there's a there's a defined definition of everything, like he, like he's the Webster dictionary walking around being all like, D -d -d can you can you tell me the definition of uh, of this of this word? And it's like some things are more complex and have more nuance to it. It's I don't know I he he's he does this all the time and it's in such bad faith. Yeah. Um... I agree, and Joe just did give him a definition of, uh, you know, a bond between two people that love each other. So I mean, uh, uh, he's he's more, in my opinion, he's more lost here on the marriage argument than he is on the trans argument. And he's he's definitely lost culturally further on that one. People yeah. are, you know, just new to the trans issue, right? But this gay marriage thing, he's like, he is living in. 2004 on that that's, issue that's the crazy thing is that though like do you see like even the like the the trend between the question like he's using the same tactic 
like the argumentative tactic is the uh, is the fascinating thing. I like I find it fascinating that he's he's using a a question that can be difficult to define or, or di- people define differently. You know, you can ask tons of different people to define something and they'll all define it in a different way. Um, and he's trying to say that he has one definition and if someone else can't tell them, tell him an exact definition that compares to his, they're somehow wrong. Yeah, I mean, that's what he's doing. Yeah, I I, I just find it to be so fascinating that I don't know if he knowingly does this. I don't know if it's a strategy that he has come up with to make himself look as if he's right. Um but but that connection is fascinating to me that he's using the same tactic on both issues. You want to play? Yeah, yeah, we'll continue. They they say, well, that's not what marriage is. So for thousands of years, we said marriage is the procreative union, and then we had the other side who came along and said, well, it's not that. Okay, well then, like, what is it exactly? And I know you said, well, it's it's people who love each other. Two people love each other. Well, but then. Why two people? Why do they have to love each other? Um, you know, all these kinds of questions. You get into, the, what if they're, they're in the same family? What if brothers and sisters want to marry? Why do they have to have kids? <laughs> just so stupid. Like, I can't, I can't believe it. Like, I, like, I, I, I can't help but, like, th- this guy, like, I, I know it's not going to sound nice. I know it's not going to sound nice. But I, I like these these figures, these characters. I can't stand them. I can't stand them. They're just they're the worst. Yeah, he he's got a pretty fragile tower of his argument. It's just not it's just not great. Um, and that's fine, dude. I mean, people have to do something, you know. He just happened to be, choose a bad one. Yeah, because there's I, probably so many people you know that they just never tell you what they think. This guy. At least he's honest. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, though, I I think, like, the when honesty is coming from a place of, like, looking at other people and telling them, like, I don't like that you do that. It's like, okay, what is voicing that opinion going to do? What positivity is coming out of that? Like, Like, his truth is based around what he thinks other people should be doing. And it's like, yeah. Matt, just live your own life, man. Just live your own life. Why Why are you pointing at other people and being like, look at what they're doing? Oh, I hate that. It's like, just live your own life. Isn't that part of what, like, the conservative, like, uh, ideology is supposed to have at its core is just, like, independence and, and, and just doing your own thing? But no, th- in these cases, can't they can't follow that rule. It's It's insane to me. Let's see if he says anything that's good. Okay. All right. And I know every time that comes up, you know, the, the advocates for gay marriage will say, well, that's a slippery slope argument. That's a fallacious. But it's actually not. It's like we're trying to get to what do you even think this institution is now since you've rejected out what we were saying it was. And, um, and I've never found a, a, a compelling definition. And any, and any, def- any definition offered, it's like, it's like well, what, what are you, what are you, what's even the point then? Why do, why, why do we even need this now? I just don't see how a gay marriage in any way damages a straight marriage. I don't I don't see it at all. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just seems to me that people want to be bu- Look, if you if you wanted to look at logic, especially in our modern society which is pretty fucked when it comes to relationships, it's somewhere in the neighborhood of 50% of all marriages end in divorce anyway. They don't make it. You know, if well, I don't know if anything would damage marriage and damage the institution of marriage. It's the option of divorce. I don't think gay people and gay people getting married in any way, shape, or form changes a bond that you have with your wife. It's just called marriage. It's a human invented thing. If we decide that gay people can get married too, I just don't see how it damages anything. I don't think it tears down the definition of marriage in any way. It just opens up the possibility that people who are gay won't be discriminated against. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that a, a gay couple existing uh, directly impacts 
you know, there's a gay couple and, you know, whatever, and, and I'm with my wife in, in our house. Like, obviously, right. there's not um, – but I'm talking about – I'm not talking about on the, on the individual level. I'm talking about on the, on the, the societal level. Right. I would agree that um, divorce, especially, uh, you know, uh, this no-fault divorce, rampant divorce, I don't think it's as high as 50%. I know that that's, the qu- that's often quoted. I'm not sure where that comes from, but – um, it is high. It's like it's too high. And, and Chris I, and Rock has a great joke about that. He and said it, those are just the people with the courage to get out. <laughs> like how many cowards stay? But it's also it's also true that the advocates for what we call now traditional marriage, which I just call marriage, but the advocates for traditional marriage put themselves at a disadvantage by allow, especially in the churches, like allowing this rampant divorce to occur. Um, and then you've al- you've already sort of can I can I just say. This guy looks like a lumberjack who couldn't quite make the cut and 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 started uh and and spent too much time uh coding. He he ended up he ended up becoming a little nerd num- lumberjack. That's what the, that's what he looks like to me. I'm saying it. This guy has said some pretty disgusting stuff. All right? I I've seen his clips. I'm not being nice. I'm I'm not being nice to this guy, you know? There's some people who like, you know, okay, fine. I'll be nice to him. This guy, I'm not being nice to this dude. All right. We can continue. I just had to say it. He looks like a <laughs> lame lumberjack. The worst lumberjack, honestly. That will we'll continue. It's on some at- marriage is supposed to be monogamous and uh, and permanent as well as procreative. Well, you've given up monogamy and permanence. And so now it's not that, that's that's two of the three legs gone. And so now this assault was waged on the procreative part of it, and it was just it was it was difficult to, to withstand it because the institution had already been weakened. So I agree with you there, um, but m- my answer to that is to try to reinforce what marriage is, not to just give up on it entirely. And I I, I still think you're left with this question of like if marriage is not what I'm saying it is, then what why do we even need it? What's the I mean you're saying it's a it's a man made institution. Yes, but you, but you're also like the way that you're pre- presenting it. It's it's a, it's also it's a totally meaningless institution. It's no, like, you don't need it at all. No, it's not meaningless because it means something to the people. We can that get see married. we can see your mouth just, moving around a, a lot. Ah, uh, oh, damn it! You can't see that. Oh, yeah, that's I mean, sad. Yeah. So wait, kind of what it I know is. how to fix it. Look, there's a massive responsibility. Pause. Pause. When you're okay, married okay, and when you have children to keep your family. I, damn it! I I forgot that like in OBS you can like drag in an image on your screen, but I'm I'm just recording Google, so I can't do that. So I, I had to get creative. I I wanted to like pull it up next to him. I I unfortunately can't do that. I wanted to pull this up next to him, but um, it it didn't work. It didn't work out. Unfortunately, <laughs> I I just yeah. I, I wanted to like do the thing where like I, I can pull in like a PNG and I was gonna have it on the screen be talking ne- next to him, but it it was a stupid joke. It was a dumb joke. We'll 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 continue. Don't worry. About you it. go back ten seconds, and please. And yeah. Keep everybody yeah. happy. And- so it's just it's just a subjective, symbolic, thing. I mean, what? Yeah. So if it's you're kind of what it is. Look, there's a massive responsibility when you're married and when you have children to keep your family together and you raise and keep everybody happy and healthy. And there's great reward to that, yeah. But it doesn't always work out. It's not. It's not a. It's people change. People are fucked up. That doesn't. It doesn't always work. And so I don't think it should be outlawed because fifty percent of the people fall apart. Just like I don't think it has any effect whatsoever on a straight couple, if a gay couple decides that they want to make it official, and that's what it is to them. It, it gives them a feeling that that they're accepted and appreciated and that they're not discriminated against because they happen to be homosexual. So well, what you're articulating to me is the damage that's done by gay marriage to the institution of marriage. But how is it done? How is that because in any way damaged straight people? Because w- we are making the institution meaningless. But it's not but meaningless. Well, but you're it's just very meaningful to... Wait, did you say I, something? Yeah. I just laughed because it... Uh, didn't make sense what he what he said yeah i i mean and they and this is like th- this is what i mean when i said in the beginning that like he their claims for all this stuff is based upon society collapsing or a key fundamental piece of society collapsing 
claiming that somehow it's going to ruin the institution of marriage uh, based on nothing. That is my problem with these guys, and I from for people who don't know who Matt Walsh is, sure, you might say I'm being extra harsh on him when I make fun of him for being a lumberjack or I call him an idiot or I, I say I hate this guy, but he said some disgusting stuff, and honestly, he's a grifter. He's the worst, so I'm I'm not I'm not apologizing for it. But anyways, we we, we can continue. I, I just I just don't like it to the people. I hate it. Subjective, symbolic, and it's about your own personal feelings. Isn't it though? Well, no. I I would say that it's not. It's, it's well, if it's not subjective and it's not symbolic, it's then it's it, it, it codifies and protects and uh, gives a name to. A, a thing that actually exists, which is which are you know man woman couples creating people creating creating babies, um, but not always. Right, but, again, but that's sti- that's still the n- that's still the nature of the union. So, but what are the percentage of people today that are married that don't have children? I bet it's pretty high amongst heterosexuals. Probably. Is there something wrong with that? I, I think there is something wrong with that. I, I, I think it, it, there, there is something wrong with. You know, getting married and saying, oh, "We're just we, we don't we're not gonna have any kids at all." But why? He grew that beard because he was afraid of people calling them a little bitch on the street. That's he that's didn't that's my <laughs> take. He was losing his hair up there. Look at that! Look at that hairline. He he's losing his hair. He was afraid someone's gonna be like, "Oh, you're a little bitch, aren't you? Aren't you a little bitch? You're you're just a you're a little fem fem boy, aren't you?" And he was like, "Oh no!" And then, and then he grew out his beard. And then he realized that it looked fake, and, and he had to put on, like, this lumberjack shirt and, and smoke his little cigar. That's what I think. That's what I think about this guy. <laughs> why is there something wrong with that? It's someone's personal choice. Well, why, would that, why is it wrong that two people are like, you know, I am deeply committed to work, and I don't want to sacrifice any of my career – and I don't want to ruin a kid because I'm constantly at the office, but that's where I get deep satisfaction, and, and that's, that's what I'm focused on. And the, the woman says, that's great because I don't want children either. I really am yeah. c- attached to my interests and my career and what I like to do. That, that's not damaging your relationship with your wife and your family. And it's, I, don't certainly, I certainly don't think of it as a threat to my marriage or my family. Yeah, it's uh, it is a personal choice, right? But shouldn't but people be allowed to make those personal choices? Like, isn't that a fundamental aspect of what it means to be American to have that freedom? Well, right, yeah, but right now we're not talking about what people are allowed to do. I'm not saying. Well, that we're talking about marriage, gay marriage. Okay, that, we, were, we 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 were just discussing straight couples who choose straight not couples to have kids. Choose, that's also a personal freedom issue, right. isn't it? Yeah, but and I'm not saying that that straight couples should be legally required to have kids. But I, I you know, if you're asking me. Do I think it's the right choice to just get married and choose not to have kids ever? I I, I do not think that that's the right choice. It might it's their it's their choice, but people can make choices that are wrong. Um, and you can but disagree. How is it wrong if they have a fulfilling and wonderful life together with that choice? If their their thing is that they just want to have a bond between okay. the two. One second, just imagine. Imagine you. Imagine you see this guy. He's coming to talk to you. Imagine you see this guy. He's coming for you. I'd run. I th- that's that photo right there terrifies me. It's, it's like it's like the, it's like a little like it's it's like a um a sexist nerd coming out of nowhere. It's like not even in cool stuff. He's not even like doesn't even know anything about like rocket science. Or anything cool. He's he's just a little uh, he's just a little sexist nerd with his little glasses. Wow. What what do you think? Of, what is a woman? I'm a scientist, by the way. Coming after you, just like wearing his little th- that I don't know. It's I, funny because you and I are both wearing lumberjack esque shirts. We are. We are. But we this, both have beards. We do both have beards, <laughs> but at least we don't. We at least we don't. Lo- at least we're not walking around bothering people in public looking like this. You know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong looking like that. But if you're gonna walk around and bother people in public, 
and chase around trans people to try and like ask them questions. You're just a weirdo in society, just bothering people, just being a nuisance to the public. Okay, I, I'll I like that. I like that take. That's that's what I that's that's the problem, and I I'm just imagining this this figure running up to you, trying to ask you a question. You're just you're really just trying to go on with your life. We'll get back to the video, but still, I just I can't. Two of them to just like take it to the next yeah. level. Let everybody know, like we are married. If I die, my money's gonna go to Helen. And if Helen dies, you know, I, you know, I'm going to mourn her because she was my wife and now I'll be a widower. Like to some people, that distinction gives them peace and security and makes them feel better about the relationship. That They're both so committed that they've legally signed documents that say that they're bound by law and under the eyes of God or whatever you believe in. Yeah. They're, they're able to make that choice. But I think you're re you're still rejecting one of the purposes of marriage, and in the scenario that you just outlined, you're also deciding to live a really self-centered life. You're saying, but what you if you're not? What if your work is very charitable? What if it benefits humanity in a deep way? What if you spend a lot of time doing, you know, uh, healthcare work and you know, and uh, social work, and you're you're deeply committed to your community. It's not selfish at all. You're just dedicating your time to something I mean, other than raising new human beings. But yeah, that's you're dedicating your life to enhancing other human beings that are around you. That's a hypothetical. I, I, it I, is a hypothetical, right, but so but is yours, right? Yeah, but I, I think most of the people that choose, like, we're not going to have kids, and, and, the, and the, the rate of... Yeah. So Joe's just destroying him here, and you can see that he's... His body language is like he's facing off to the side here. He's, um, he definitely knows he's in trouble, and he's just using a really monotone, soft voice. So he must know he's getting wrecked, and he just must just hope that the people that blindly follow him just are happy that he's getting this amount of publicity. Um. And people, you know, th th the sad thing is a lot of people do like this guy. Um, he's not quite as popular, no, again, as Ben Shapiro. He he works for the Daily Wire. Uh, ben Shapiro is one of the, the co-owners. So I think that's probably um, – a lot of his fame is attributed to Ben Shapiro anyways um, and him joining the Daily Wire. Um, but I, I don't know. It, it's just – I don't even know what the comments look like here. I, I, do we want to finish the video? It, it seems like it's just yeah. it's repeating the same. Okay, okay. Let's just see. Videos. Okay. Those rates are declining. Um, and the age when people first have kids is also going up and, and all of that. And, yeah. and, and, and I, most of the people that are making these choices, I don't, I don't think it's because they're involved in charity work. I, I do think that it is more the, the scenario you outlined in the, in the first time around, which is just like, well, I, I'm, this is what I'm doing. You know, I have my job. I don't want to give it up. Yeah. Um, but don't you think that people should have the freedom to live their life in that way? I think human beings vary widely in a huge way. And I think there's some human beings that find a very fulfilling life just reading books and traveling and experiencing different things and seeing okay, art yeah, and doing whatever the fuck they want to do. Anymore. Yeah, and there's only two minutes left. But I, I, I just wonder, like, it's funny that he, he's triggered by – somebody deciding to marry somebody else like he, he's triggered by other people's relationships and what other people are doing it, it's funny that like he would claim like the libs are so triggered thanksgiving wow they're so triggered and then he himself he he's just triggered over what's going on around him it's like it's it's really not your not his life to live it's other people's life to live and then claiming that society is gonna fall apart because of a decision that two other people are making. I mean, I I don't know. I just I, I hate this type of um I I hate that type of uh what it, it's just a propaganda. That type of propaganda that that gets put out there that somehow um there's there's this group of people that's going to destroy society. When has that happened in the in the history of 
of not just this country, but when have like a small group of people just fundamentally broken the the structures of what society is through actions that they make within said society, through marrying somebody, through making a, a personal decision. I, I think it's ridiculous. Yeah, I don't know, dude. We can see what the audience thinks. I'm assuming it's mostly probably Joe Rogan fans, so they probably are are with him on this, but might find some Matt Walsh people. 40 seconds in, and I'm realizing how well Joe Rogan simply asked someone a question in order to investigate their beliefs, listen to them, understand them without intent to agree, disagree, judge, or criticize. He's a mirror of these people. He tries to get honest conviction out of them and challenge them, which makes the content so entertaining. Okay. Um, props to Joe's patience. Matt Walsh struggling with his contradictions is hilarious. There's someone calling it out. Joe makes me crazy sometimes, but this was impressive. Good job, Joe. Uh, Matt went totally speechless. Uh, this shows his objection to same-sex marriage is not a rationally thought through one, but is based on his dislike and hatred toward homosexuality. I was so impressed with the calm sharpness of Joe's questioning. Okay, so it's it's mostly just comments ranging from that, which is good. I, th I think that's a... Th this is a positive video um, from my point of view because it the people who otherwise might believe that there's something scientifically in quotations or society from a society's perspective wrong with gay marriage have now at least been nudged in the right direction. Um, and that's what I mean like when I – god damn, the previous videos, when, I, when I'm talking about certain issues – I feel like again, if you're not able to like get get to a point where you can definitely like squash the the uh, the hatred towards a certain idea, if you're not able to like s suppress it in a way that's clear cut, um, some people can like fall into again w when they watch Matt Walsh. I would hate for somebody to to end up watching Matt Walsh because they were like, oh, yeah, but he did a good job saying about how much he dislikes gay people. Oh, he did a great job doing that. And then going and watching him, that's like the fear of like when, when an episode, one of these episodes that are political goes bad, like the the previous two. Not two. Yeah. But... Yeah. I guess the Ben Shapiro one was okay. That that one was was better than I thought it was, but the two before it at least – um okay but thank you to the audience and if you got to this point um i'll uh i was gonna venmo you five dollars but i if you know i'm not gonna do that so thanks for listening and uh tell us who we should look at next definitely definitely tell us uh tell us who to who to have a look at. Um, I don't know. I, depending on who it is, I, uh, I might not be a hundred percent professional. I, I, I realize that like, you know, I, it might, again, I, I, I just, I can't help it. Like if, if it's one of these guys that I know of, who's, who said some kind of disgusting stuff in the past, I'm, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be very nice to him, but, Yeah, I was thinking about doing Candace Owens next time. Oh, Candace Owens. Can't yeah, Candace. Candace Owens. Yes, of course. Yeah. Sorry, that was my lisp for with all my uh, my grill. Ah, with the grill, nice, nice. Yeah, it was Candace. Candace. Yes, Candace Owens. Candace. Okay, M Michael's out. I gotta go. I gotta call the electrical company to make sure that. You know my power. They can turn my power back on. Yeah, yeah, and, and watch out for that battery, because I mean, uh, big batteries are like you know, don't electrocute yourself. Be careful, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be, I'll, I'll be safe. Okay, good, good. All right, guys, we'll we'll see you next time.